Pisces. This is a general reading for the sign of Pisces. If you have Pisces anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you. Lots of cards wanting to pop out here for you, Pisces. You know what is meant for you and what is not meant for you. Thank you, Spirit Messages, for the sign of Pisces. Also, Pisces, do please leave a comment. I think comments are a wonderful, beautiful way to um, share and spread positive karma. I also believe who to help a Pisces than a fellow Pisces. Thank you, Spirit Messages, for the sign of Pisces. Also, Pisces, let's talk about that new moon on the 14th that will be super powered by that lunar eclipse. Their combined energy has the ability to alter and change the directions of our lives. The universe is creating an environment where we will be able or we will feel compelled to act, compelled to some form of movement. By preparing for this boost of energy, it allows us to harness that energy. It allows us to harness that energy instead of being tossed about like in the wind. And really, the best thing that we can do to harness that energy is through a ritual. Um, I will post a simple candle ritual in the description box. So do visit that description box and maybe add a little candle ritual to your new moon solar eclipse energy and maybe set your intentions. And I love that we have the Wheel of Fortune as the foundation, the basis of this reading. And so the Wheel of Fortune spins, and whether that spins in our favor or not really is determined by our intentions, really determined by the words and the actions that we choose to, um, that we choose for any given situation. And again, I think the Wheel of Fortune for you during this reading is about setting your intentions and using that super powered energy of that lunar eclipse this week. And let's see how we can get that to play or let's see how it will play into the rest of your reading here, Pisces. And in your work life, in your professional life, moving forward, leaving something behind, taking the higher ground, seeking things that are not necessarily tangible, starting something new, moving on to fertile ground, a fool's journey, and something coming to an end. And the cups. Pisces, I do believe you are making that shift, making that transition. Just driving and the Empress. I love the Empress is driving the wheel. The force behind the wheel is the Empress. And that just tells me that you are really on a positive spin of the wheel. You are really on the positive side of karma. Um, it might not necessarily appear that way, um, but that Empress is just a beautiful card to drive the wheel. It really just puts a positive spin on that karma. And you know, that karma, what we put out into the universe is what we create. Um, we are creators, and so we are the ones that create our lives. We are the one creating 
our reality. And we do that with our thoughts. We do that with our feelings. We do that with our emotions. Moving forward, leaving something behind. And I really do believe what we're leaving behind is the physical. And so maybe up until this point to a certain extent, Pisces, um, what you do in your professional life, what you do in your career, what you do for work has really all been all about the physical. It's been all about the money. It's been all about what we can get. And uh, everything that um, really ties us to the physical. But I see here, I sense here that you're making a shift and you're changing that shift to be more towards the spiritual, more towards the emotional fulfilling and really seeking out and really starting something that is really going to be spiritually and emotionally fulfilling for you. And you, that old saying that um, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. I really do believe that that holds true, Pisces, that if we are doing what we love, the money will come, the physical will come, but it really only comes and it really is only fulfilling when we're doing what we love, when we're doing what we were called to do our life's journey, our soul's journey. And I really see you shifting. I really see you moving towards finding ways to incorporate into your public life, into your career, into your professional ways, ways to incorporate or to mix what it is that you are um, physically or spiritually called to do your soul's purpose your life's mission and really doing that and really working towards that and really creating that but in order for that to happen something needs to end in order for that to happen something needs to end Pisces, communication is key to your success. And do use your confidence to share your thoughts and your ideas. And when we share our thoughts and our ideas with that confidence, that's when they will be well received. And that is what will lead to the positive outcome and the opportunity that you are wanting to create here. And so I do see Pisces that everything is lining up here for your success in this situation for this success in this shift in this shift in this change that you're wanting to make i see everything lining up but it is going to almost pivot on your degree of confidence your self-talk and the thoughts and the emotions that you're putting into creating this. And did... In last week's reading, 
we talk in the last couple of weeks we've been talking about setting intentions and how to set intentions and I do believe in your last couple readings Pisces we have been talking about setting intentions and it's never too late to set your intentions it's never too late to set your goals and part of that process that we talked about was the affirmations and so it's about setting affirmations to our setting affirmations putting into words our thoughts and our feelings of how we would like something to be um, I would invite you to maybe la watch the last couple readings and really look and see and delve into um, setting affirmations for ourselves in your private life, in your personal life. Another ending. No, not the ending. The pre-ending. And I am not surprised that we see this card come out in your reading Pisces, especially with that super powered energy of that uh, lunar eclipse. And so that energy, energy, any energy that has the ability to alter or change our lives or to change the directions of our lives is for the many of us going to arise from some sort of discomfort, from some sort of unhappiness. Um, many times it's the discomfort, it is the unhappiness, it is the pain of a situation that will motivate us to making the changes. And so I do see something happening in your home life, in your private life, that is going to motivate you to want to change. But this change that you are going to make is going to be for the better. That it is going to have a positive outcome. what this situation will call for is for you to not be distracted by the drama, not be distracted by the chaos. And by not being distracted by the chaos and looking at the situation at what it is at the core of the situation, you will be able to make the decision needed for a positive outcome. You may be asked to demonstrate or use your empathy or your sensitive side. Misunderstandings are bound to happen. What really affects these misunderstandings are our reactions to them. That our reaction to anything is really what determines the outcome. And putting forth a sincere effort to understand the situation will be well received and will make way, make room for open and warm communication that will bring about peace. 
final thoughts, final messages. Look at this here, Pisces. There's that judgment card. Looking back with no regrets. Looking back with no regrets. Spirit Pisces is asking you to recognize your triggers. And so I, I do know that as being human and partaking in this life, it is often easier um, to recognize and to find other people's triggers. But really the trick of life, the trick of life is to recognize our own triggers and knowing what stirs our own anger and our own anxiety by knowing that it will help us maintain peace when we are challenged when we are challenged by recognizing our own triggers and what causes us discomfort and really where what are the origins what are the basis of those triggers when we really understand that people are not able to trigger us because we have a knowing we have an understanding about that and when we have that knowing and understanding about our own triggers we are able to maintain peace and calm even when we are being challenged. And that is the message that I have for the sign of Pisces. Thank you, Pisces. You have a blessed week.